Now let us ask, what does one need in order to research? I would like to give six main points. Questions that express your curiosity. These questions will suggest their own formal methods for investigation, for example, paradigms, experiments, and analysis. Critical thinking, which is the ability to place ideas under intense scrutiny, be it your own or those of others. An institution in the broad universal sense, which on one hand provides a forum where researchers can share ideas and come together around cu common curiosities, and on the other hand, provides the resources to fund, manage, store, and disseminate knowledge. Documentation, the ability to store knowledge in openly accessible and infinitely enduring media so that others can access and benefit from it. Code, in order to document one's knowledge, one needs an appropriate language or code, meaning in this instance, a codified set of symbols relevant to the research in question. The choice of code shapes the how and the what of the research, as well as unlocking the following process. Encoding knowledge, by which one renders ideas into a certain medium. Decoding, by which one interprets the research of others. And recoding, by which one adapts existing research for their own purpose. Which means one also needs other research. The process of de- and recoding the knowledge of others is so central to the research process that it is almost universally considered a necessity. It is wise to assume that others have already conducted research which is similar to yours and that you can learn from their work.